This is a painting that can sometimes shock our visitors. The imagery of the skull, and the dead body in particular, is of a type that we don't encounter that often. So to us, naturally, it can feel quite grotesque and even alarming. When we're looking at this painting, we really have to put ourselves in the mindset of a 16th century viewer. They would have been very familiar and actually quite comfortable with this type of imagery. I would know automatically that it didn't represent something disturbing, but was instead a positive thing. The same is also true of the way the couple present themselves. To a modern viewer, it feels slightly odd. They're a married couple, and yet they don't even look at each other. There's a gesture of affection in the placement of the hands on the skull, but they don't quite touch. Again, this was part of a language of 16th century portraiture. Only fools and peasants would smile, make faces, or show excessive emotion. For a respectable Christian couple, like the Judds, it was necessary to take on a more restrained, sober appearance. 